Etsy myths aren't just time wasters. They can also hurt your shop search ranking, sales, and growth. I literally scripted a whole video on how to set up Google Analytics for your Etsy shop. And then Google Analytics updated to a totally new version that I'm not familiar with yet. New day, new video, new topic. This is why I always say to make flexibility your favorite F word. For those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore, founder of the Handmade Alpha Academy for Etsy sellers and manager at eRank.com, Etsy's most popular SEO tool. And if you've been selling on Etsy for a while, you've probably heard of a few insane Etsy myths floating around out there. I don't know where they come from or who comes up with them, but today we're debunking 10 of the top Etsy myths that I've seen over the last 10 years. That way you can avoid them and focus on strategies that actually work. But before we dive into the details, I wanna take a moment to give a quick shout out to this week's featured shop. Thanks so much for your love and support. If you'd like to submit for your own shout out, be sure to tag Handmade Alphas in a photo or screenshot of yourself watching this video, either in your Instagram feed or Instagram stories. Number one in our list of Etsy myths is renewing your listing every single day to get a boost. This was an old strategy that Etsy sellers used to use way back when Etsy's search algorithm was in its infant stages. Basically, Etsy sellers would go into their back end of their shop each day and they'd select all of their listings and pay the 20 cent renewal fee in order to take advantage of the organic boost that Etsy gives to new listings. But here's the problem. Etsy caught on to this little trick pretty quickly. And if Etsy recognizes that a seller is renewing listings every single day, but still isn't making sales, this tells Etsy that those listings probably aren't very good, causing Etsy to actually rank them lower in search. Myth number two, typing keywords into the Etsy search bar will help you to see your search ranking. With the incorporation of personalized search in the ranking technology, Etsy caters shoppers' experiences on the platform. In short, Etsy uses your past shopper habits to show you the items that they think that you're most likely to buy and they show me the items that they think that I'm most likely to buy. However, there is a way to check your search ranking minus that personalization. This can help you to see where you would rank organically if personalization wasn't applied, which can help you to tell which of your listings in your shop have good SEO. And since this strategy takes a little bit more time to explain, I'll go ahead and link video up here somewhere and in the description below so that you can learn the correct way to check your own search ranking. Myth number three, like ladders can help your visibility. I know that you've seen them, those big threads and Etsy Facebook groups where they tell everybody to post their links and favorite each other's products in order to get some magical boost from Etsy. Yeah, no. If Etsy's algorithm was this easy to game, everybody would be successful. Favorites on Etsy don't mean a whole lot. I mean, it feels good and it's a good indicator that someone found your item in search, but they don't help your shop in search, nor do they give you any special boost. Number four, adding listing videos will help your search ranking. This is a newer rumor that I've seen floating around since we've only had listing videos for about a year-ish. But in short, listing videos are meant to enhance the shopper's experience. Adding them to your listings does not help your listing to rank higher in search. So if you're adding videos, do it to better serve your buyers. Number five, Etsy will file copyright claims against your shop. In this video up here, I discuss Etsy's all new reporting portal and how selling items that contain words or images related to copyright characters is now more dangerous than it ever has been. So if you sell any of this stuff here, make sure you watch that video there. But it's not Etsy who files copyright claims against you. It's the intellectual property holder. Contrary to popular belief, Etsy does not have the right to make copyright infringement reports on behalf of another brand. This means that if you receive a report of intellectual property infringement on Etsy, it was reported by the owner of that copyright, not Etsy themselves. Number six. Keywords stuff your descriptions to rank higher in Etsy search. When it comes to keyword optimization, Etsy primarily looks for keywords in three areas of your listing. Your title, your tags, and your attributes. Etsy does not look for keywords in your listing description 
or in your materials. But Starla, what about Google optimization? Okay, technically yes, Google does read your Etsy descriptions, but how often do you see individual Etsy listings recommended to you on a Google search page? Exactly. Ranking on Google for your Etsy listings is next to impossible. So stick to Google SEO for your website and Etsy SEO for Etsy. Number seven, if you run out of space in your tags, put extra keywords in your materials. Imagine being allergic to nickel. You find a beautiful necklace on Etsy that you're interested in buying, but you wanna make sure that the jewelry is safe for you to wear. So you head into the materials, only to find this. As I stated before, Etsy doesn't read your materials. So if you're doing this, stop it. Number eight, don't repeat keywords in multiple listings or you'll compete with yourself. Compete with yourself. I want you to pull this phrase from your brain, Dumbledore style. Competing with yourself on Etsy is an impossibility. This phrase implies that you can only rank once for a specific keyword, which absolutely isn't true. Not only can you rank multiple times for the same keywords, you can also rank multiple times on a single page. And isn't that what you want? If someone is searching for sterling silver birthstone necklaces and they type in sterling silver birthstone necklaces, why wouldn't you want as many of your listings to show up as possible? Not to mention keyword consistency across multiple listings helps to tell Etsy what your shop is all about. And it helps Etsy to identify you as an authority of that particular type of item. Number nine, your most important tags should be entered first. I have no fun explanation for this one. The order of your tags does not matter. Tags does not matter the order of your. Etsy reads them all the same, so don't worry about the order that they're in. And lastly, myth number 10. New shops can't succeed on Etsy because the market is too saturated. This is so incredibly incorrect that I spent four weeks building a free workshop that scientifically explains how ranking on Etsy works. That way, even if you're new, small, inexperienced, or you just aren't super tech savvy, you can still find success on Etsy. To access the free workshop, you can click on the link up here and down below in the video description. Overall, success on Etsy requires diligence and adapting to the platform as the marketplace evolves. With a little science, a lot of data, and some help from a trusted Etsy expert, you'll be well on your way to Etsy success. Cue the funky lo-fi beat.